What up, Tube? Tonight in the garage, I'm gonna play with this English wheel I just got. Stay tuned. So tonight I came in the garage. I'm already dirty, as you see. Um, I didn't really plan on shooting an episode. I got a new uh, tool, a bigger English wheel. I mean, it's still not a super great one, uh, but it works really good compared to the little guy I had and I've never really messed with it before. So well, I figured I'd screw around a little bit and uh, see what I could do about redoing the grill on the 50. And uh, let me show you what I did because I'm kind of proud. So uh, if any of you guys remember before, I had taken these 55 Buick Dagmars and I had them like on the front there, like some big old teeth. Well, I didn't quite like that. So I decided to bend a whole new bottom bar. I had this middle one made already that I made in the slip roll with two pieces that I just slip rolled angle cut and welded together. Well, I needed this to curve around the outside of the car. So it was like a compound curve this way and this way. So I picked up that English wheel to see what I could do. And uh, I think I did a pretty good job for first whack at it. Right now everything's just tacked in there. I wanna build something to come from here down, get rid of that. And then the other side of course, the second side is a little smoother. And that guy's got a nice curve. It even lines up with the splash pan. Perfect. Right around. And I'm gonna weld this all solid so that it's all color matched to the car. So a quick little video. Next time uh, I work with that English wheel, I'll get some more pieces done and, and I'll do a better video, but like I said, it's the first time I've ever really worked with the real English wheel. I only have one die for it. Um, it's a pretty, you know, mid-range kind of curve and a flat wheel on the top. So, um, I like I said, I didn't really know it was going to come out. And, um, yeah, I did pretty good. So, next time we'll do a little bit more detail. But uh, that's really going to be it for this episode. Short and sweet. Stay tuned. Back on the 50. Trying to get that thing up and going in the next couple days here. I could take it for a ride. Um, earlier today, I plumbed all the air ride in the back. I just got to run my electrical for it and uh, brake lines. Get a drive shaft going tomorrow. I'm going to go down to the drive shaft shop here and um, see if they can get me the right universals because I got a drive shaft that fits. No clue what it's from. It's definitely not a Chevy and I can't figure out what, what universal goes in there. So I'm just gonna take it over there, have them put my slip yoke and a new universal in that matches up with that um, tri five rear end that I have in there. Um, bolt that in and uh, do a little bit more work to that grill. But uh, I'm pretty proud of that bottom section so far. Um, yeah, as always, subscribe to the channel, smash that button down below, follow along on my journey here. Hopefully we'll be taking that out for a ride in the next couple days. Have a good night, everybody.